ready for a little fishing on Canyon Ferry. We're gonna do some trolling for trout. And see if we can't catch a couple of walleye that are suspended in about 38 feet of water, suspended in about 10. <laughs> That's the idea. We'll see how it works out. <laughs> fishing for. We're in Goose Bay Marina, Canyon Ferry Reservoir in Montana. We're going to do some trout fishing today. We're going to be using Rapala's number seven and brook trout. We're going to use shad wrap and bluegill number five. stacked up. And there's a big fish sitting right with the perch. Just trying to get out then we'll go with the swell around the corner to Snaggy Bay. Do a little trolling in Snaggy see if we can't pick up a few fish. If you're gonna follow any tip of any rod this is the one that's gonna get hit. Because it's pink riding really high. And with the water temperature still in the 50s, the trout should be pretty high right now. Uh, pretty. So I just need to dial the depth in and then start concentrating on color. And we'll be good. Should probably throw a natural bait on. Dead, dead, dead. Oh, there it is. There it is, I told you. That's the one little go. Underwater, Tom? Yeah, go for it. think so. Yeah, like those Aspen, when one rod goes down, the one on the same side, whether it's the front or back, you want to get that up and out of the water so that you don't get it tangled. Pink went off, but I don't want pink all around. 
I've got chartreuse on. I'm gonna throw a natural perch. Got purple. Purple? I've got purple on. I don't have purple on. I might switch to purple and perch. I'm gonna go with the purple descent, which is always good color. And then a live target natural perch, size five. Oh, there we go. Good job, Aspen. All right, let's go. Hey, you're gonna wanna work your way around Grandpa to the back of the boat. Is he still there? All right, is Grandpa out of the water yet? There you go, find him on the side. There you go, honey, good fight. Nice one. Oh, he's jumping. <laughs> Sweet! Good job. Alright, bring him up to me. There he goes. He's gone. How was the fight, Ashton? It was good. Yeah? At first I didn't think he was on in there. It's funny when I troll like this with Dan and Marie and everybody in the boat and we never catch a thing. This is what I'm trying to do. I guess there's too many people in the boat to control it, so yeah. Uh, but this is always the goal, you know, when you're you can see now why I'm doing it. Ooh. Ooh. Arsenal of tackle with some leaves. Weed beds, 12 feet of water. Talk to me, kid. What are you feeling? I'm thinking purple descent or this guy are gonna go down next. Oh, fish on. I told you that one would go off next. Oh, and it's gone. Yeah. What a nice day, huh? Crisp pie five. We're getting bites. We're loving it. All Canyon Ferries playing today. That sounded like the drag also. We stopped doing that. <laughs> Delicious? What? It's my turn too. Did you catch that? Why don't you throw that on a hook? My turn. Fish like yeah. some apples. So nothing's gonna hit when it's my turn. Nice. Nice. Well, we're really doing the sliker fishing. We got three generations in the boat today. Grandpa, Dad, and Aspen. But when you edit it together, you gotta edit it like we're just hammering fish the whole time. Place. <laughs> Good. All right, hold on, Dad. 
Fighter. Yeah, right there. Ah, oh, he's powerful. That's why he fought so hard. Oh. That's what you get for swatting at it there, fella. That was a good one. That's yeah. Sean, yeah. you're in the steering wheel. We just snagged the guy. Sometimes they'll come up and swat at it. I just get hit. So. Out deeper in 30 to 50 feet of water, even though we're only fishing. About six feet down. No problem if I put four shallow runners out, they'll all be tanked. Yeah. That's why that one felt so big, I was dragging it sideways. <laughs> I thought it was much, much bigger than that. That's alright. Pick up a good fight. Oh yeah. Aspen, you're next in the rotation. So we dialed in a location. Now we just need to dial in some lures. We're gonna leave the deep divers just like they are. But we're gonna change that one out again. Although that one got hit hard. But for sure that's that's the popular one. I don't want to put any banana on the lure. Not allowed to have a banana in my boat. I sure hope there's not one in here. Pardon? I sure hope you didn't bring a banana in my boat. <laughs> Why no banana? Well, I believe it started with the early trade of bananas coming to the United States. And the banana spiders would kill people on the boat. So it just became bad luck to have a banana on a boat. Oh. But today the bananas are transported contained, so I don't think they have that problem anymore. Who knew? It doesn't change the fact that the superstition is that bananas are still bad luck on boats, so they're not allowed on my boat. <laughs> Marie brought a banana on my boat once and I freaked out and she didn't know what 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 did I do? What did I do? Why <laughs> What you eating? Ruffles. Do they have ridges? Yes. Hey. Oh, there we go. LDR is the long distance release. Oh, oh. So 
we'll up at the top of the run here. The pink one goes off. In the back of the run, that one goes off. Is anybody noticing that? That one's been hit three times in the back corner, and the pink one's been hit five times up front off the point. Just saying. Maybe it means something. Maybe it's random luck. What a gorgeous day. It Beautiful. Is. Very nice. See what happens. Maybe we'll pick up a walleye or a pike. Is that a walleye or a little northern? Something about that lone tree. I've got a feeling. I don't know. You call it a hunting <laughs> feeling? I don't know what to call it. No, there's absolutely no reason. Hang out here. It's just a feeling. Oh. That one asked him? Good job. Got it still? Yeah. Here still? Stupid guys like to swim towards the boat and go dessert and then get oh, came off. I told you right in front of the tree. What happened last night? Came off? Yeah. No fish? No. It happens, right, Aspen? Yeah. Can't get them all. My hand is cold. Your hand's cold? Well, don't stick it down in the water. There you go. Right. I can't I help you. Whoa. Yeah, that's all right. Just play it, honey. That's what you need to do. Play it out. Good job. Try and get your rod over here to keep them away from my other rod. Reel in you can. Other than that, it's fighting. There you go. Reel in. Don't want to let them get Try to pump it forward and reel back a little bit. Reel. There you go. Yeah, just like that. But if you fight hard, let them fight. Don't give them any slack when you're reeling back. Don't give them any slack. Looks like you got a good one, honey. You might have the biggest fish of the day so far. It's not fighting like a trout, is it? Huh? Yeah? No, he's not. Big walleye, honey. He's fighting exactly like a big walleye or a trout coming in sideways. Or a foul of a cut. Rod down. Okay, we don't want him coming up out there. All right, start bringing him in. The longer he's on, the more chance he has to get rolling. Got some friends that were catching nine to twelve fish every couple hours uh, right along here during the middle of the day. So we'll give it a shot. That was weird. I just put it out and got hammered, and while it was in my hand. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. 
Bonk, bonk. this time. Trout fishing was awesome. Tried a little jigging at the end for some walleye to no avail. Next outing will be walleye. See you next time. <laughs>